So we have our background video and our image fallback for if our HTML5 player isn't supported. What we're now going to look at is using filters to change the background video. Of course, with CSS, we can change any element and apply filters to it. So we're going to be looking at grayscale and sepia as well. We're also then going to look at the playback rate. So we're going to slow this video down. And of course, if you want to speed it up, you could do that too. Uh, the concept's the same. So over in our text editor then, um, let's first of all look at filters. There are plenty of filters to choose from, but I'm just going to demo a couple of them just so you know that you can apply these filters to your video. I'm going to use the WebKit prefix here, um, and the property name is filter. So here I can define what the filter I want to apply to this. So for example, I could apply grayscale, and I choose a percentage here. Now I can duplicate this down and then also include the non-vendor prefix property as well. Now, obviously, you'd imagine that is going to give me 100% grayscale on this, so there's no color in here. But of course, you can change this value and play around with it. So for example, we could choose 50% to give a sort of half and half effect. This actually looks quite nice, uh, rather than the full color, in my opinion. Um, we've also got things like sepia, like I said. So we can change the sepia amount on here. So again, I've got 50% on there, but you can crank that up. So this can be applied to our video. So go ahead and, and check out what you can and can't do with filters and uh, see if you can apply something cool onto your background video. Now, second of all, we're going to go on to look at the playback speed of this video. So remember in the last part, we gave this video an ID, BG video. So we can target that with CSS, uh, with JavaScript, sorry. Now, we're not going to use jQuery. If you are using jQuery, you can, of course, uh, make use of this. But there's no point here because we're only doing one very small thing. So let's open and close the script tag down here. This would obviously be better in an, an external JavaScript file, uh, always load at the bottom of your page rather than doing it on the page. So. What we first of all want to do is determine how we can change the playback speed. So there'd be a property on this video element. So I'm going to temporarily just create a variable here called video. And this is obviously going to be document. And we use the get element by ID method to select this video by ID. We know that the ID is BG video, so we can just type in BG video there. So with that, I'm then going to explore what I can actually do with this. So I'm going to just bring up my developer console here. And uh, we know that we've now got a variable called video. So if I type video in my console, that gives me back the um, element that's selected uh, by this document.getElementById.bg video here. So now that we've got this, uh, let me just switch exclusively to my console. We now know that we can do video dot and then something. So here we can do things like playback or, or just type play and see what comes up. So it's a really good um, way to sort of uh, experiment with doing this. So we can do things like uh, pause, for example. So if we were to run, uh, sorry, run this method, uh, you can see that the video here is now paused. It's no longer playing. And then we can again use the play method to play this. So you can you can play around in the console and control this. But what I'm interested in is the playback rate, playback rate. So I can change this playback rate by assigning a, a, an integer to this, or it actually it can be uh, like 1.5, so it can be a float. So let's say 1.5, and let's take a look at. It's quite hard to see here because of my resolution, but you can generally see now that that video is now sped up. Of course, we could do something silly and speed this up to five times uh, or even just do 100 and see how fast she can type. Um, so if you wanted maybe this to just be a little bit slower, or a little bit um, more casual as your users enter your website, uh, I've changed that to 0.8 now. But the point is that you can do this on your page here. So we don't need to assign this to a global variable. Uh, there's no need. We can just use get uh, element by ID and then do dot playback rate like that. And then we can assign that a value. So 0.8. And then that's obviously going to just slow down. And permanently, when your users land on your page, this will be at a playback rate uh, of 0.8. So 80% of its normal speed. So that's how we change filter effects on our video and also how we change the playback rate.